All right, Ken Workington, thank you very much. And once again, welcome everybody to a very special edition of In the Sulky this Friday night. All of us at Meadowlands Racing and Entertainment are proud to welcome Mr. Duncan Taylor here, CEO of TaylorMade Sales and Stallions to our facility here in New Jersey. TaylorMade, one of the most prominent names in the thoroughbred game as well. They stand Kentucky Derby champion California Chrome, amongst others. Duncan, welcome to the Big M here. First and foremost, you are a family business here. You just got back into harness racing in a big way with some big private purchases, and we'll get to that in a moment. But tell us why the family part of your business is so important to you. Well, we're a um, Catholic family, and uh, my mom and dad had six boys and two girls. And when we were growing up, we were like, you know, any middle-class family, lived on the farm at Gainesway, Clarence Gaines, which was in the standard bread business. And um, my brother and I used to have to walk about three miles to take care of some standard bread mares that a Mrs. Morris owned every day after school. And, but we, basically I was very blessed when I started TaylorMade in 1976, the, the, we, uh, we started a very small boarding farm. We just boarded a few mares. And, but as the farm grew, I was blessed to have another brother that was family, and the, that brother would come in. When I moved into the office, he would take over running the farm, and then when that brother moved into the office into a sales position, there'd be another brother coming along. So I have uh, Ben, Frank, and Mark, all three brothers that are all younger than me that are in the business with us, and my dad and granddad were both in the standard bread business, and so it was just a... Um, it's just always meant a, lot, meant a lot to us, and it's a big part of our operation. Now, you've had a tremendous amount of success in the thoroughbred game here, and it's not often that we lose somebody to the thoroughbred game and then get them back, so we're certainly happy to have you. Why did you want to get back involved with harness racing? What was it that rekindled your interest? You know, I think that one of the things that rekindled my interest is that when I was young, and it's a thing a lot of people in the thoroughbred business say, the owners say, well, when I was uh, young, I went to the track with my dad. Well, when I was young, I was around standard breads. And George Schulte and Gene Sears were guys that were my dad's friends that were coming over to our house, and Frank Irvin and those kind of guys that were in the standard bread business, and we were around them. Matter of fact, on the farm that my, me and my brother were walking to to take care of the, the horses, uh, there was one thoroughbred mare, and he had me convinced, he was my older brother, that that mare was really a dumb horse because she was a thoroughbred. <laughs> so, you know, I, as I grew into thoroughbreds and more, I sort of lost that, but when being, being back with the standard breads a little more, I was around Lazarus today, and just the temperament on that horse is to kill for. I mean, you know, if he's, he's just such a good-headed horse and just nothing bothers him and it's it's and there, and a lot of the standard breads I was over at Jimmy Tactors and he was showing me his horses and just the uh, the mental aspect is so much more calm and uh, it's just a they're, they're great horses and they're they're basically hard and, and durable and, and and they uh, and they're getting faster all the time <laughs> that they are now you have a connection to the standard bread industry your good friend Steve Stewart from Hunterton Farm here was I, I'm assuming he had a little part of you getting back into it as well yeah he, he had been telling me that uh, he thought that at the top of the standard bread business there might be a chance to buy some stallions there weren't that many people in that there are some and there's some really good ones but it's not like the thoroughbred business where there's 15 competitors that are out there going after every horse and some people are paying so much for them and you know we make all of our money at taylor made out of the horse business we don't have oil wells like sheikh muhammad or xl communications like kenny trout that just won the triple crown or b wayne Hughes that owns public storage we we're making it out of horses so you know we are um we, we can't just go out and buy every horse. And, you know, I think it was interesting to me, the international market is more vibrant and standard breads than it used to be. So it just felt like something we like. It's our roots, but it was also, 
economically look like it might be uh, something that would work. Okay, to find out more about Mr. Taylor's background and family connections as well, read the excellent article that was in Harness Racing Update a couple of weeks ago written by Dave Briggs, a very, very thorough and informative piece. Now, you got back into the game in December, Duncan, with the purchase of the Trotting Stallion, What the Hill. How did that exactly come about? How, how do you decide you know, which stallion you might be interested in, who gave you the idea, and then what goes through it to actually make the deal? So um, Ernie Martinez came to me and said, you know, this is a horse, won the Hamiltonian, got disqualified, but he, he's a good two-year-old, he won the Houghton, and he also had, had Steve Stewart telling me the same thing, and Steve was saying, I'll go in with, for a piece of the horse, so that gave me some confidence. I don't pretend to say that I'm the guru on standard breads. I got a lot to learn. I was in it when I was young. I mean, we're all horsemen, and I think horsemanship my dad used to tell me, those standard bred horsemen, they know a lot more than the thoroughbred. He would tell me that, and, so, and especially the blacksmiths. So I know horsemanship's a big a big part of er everything you do. So, But I don't, I don't know the trotting or pacing game like I do the thoroughbred. So I got a lot to learn. And but I'm, So I'm leaning on Steve. As my dad sort of helped the Stewart family get into the standard bred business. I said, it's funny no good deed goes unpaid because now Steve's <laughs> helping me after my dad helped their family. So. All right, that's it's, very good. Now, but the Hill, of course, you syndicated him. He is now standing in Ohio at Hickory uh, Lane Farm. But that wasn't it for you. You went a little bit further uh, when you found out about the Down Under Femon Lazarus, who you mentioned before. Uh, now, all of his fans are watching us live right now, Down Under on Harness Racing uh, New Zealand tonight. We thank them for watching and some video. I want to show you a little clip here of his two most outstanding wins. Watch this. This is Lazarus in action over the last couple of seasons. Third quarter, 28.4. Lazarus is out by five lengths, Tiger Tara. Then Smolder and Tiger Tara. But it is all Lazarus clear of Tiger Tara. And once again, Lazarus has arisen. Third quarter, 27-3. It's all over here, folks. He's going to do it again. He's out by eight. It's Lazarus clear of Jack's legend and Tiger Tara. Get Nasser on the phone. He is in another orbit. Lazarus does it again. I just love that line. He's in another orbit. Lazarus there with his two biggest wins, the New Zealand Cup of both of the last two years for Mark Purden. Now, he arrived here in New Jersey, Lazarus did, just two weeks ago into Jimmy Tactor's stable here. You just saw him, so tell us, how did he handle the travel, and what has uh, Jimmy said about him so far? Well, Jimmy's cautious, and he, tra he traveled really good. There wasn't, there wasn't any problem with the travel, and he's been working him out there. Um, I say working, he's just been jogging him, but... He's got some sand, more sand type surfaces, and he's been taking him to the sh on the straights. And he said, one of the things he said, I really like him the horse. I think he's got a lot of power. And then I try to push him further, trying to get better accolades. And he, you know, it, it is early. We're going to have to see. He's, he was great down there. And from the thoroughbred business, the same way. When you go to take on somebody in a different country or like this week's Royal Ascot in England, American horses are going over there. It's no slam dunk. I mean, you know, there's plenty of good horses here in the United States, and he's got his work cut out for him. You know, I think he's a great, he's a really great horse. He's shown that. Uh, the commentary, when you listen to those races down under and what, what the uh, announcers are saying, I mean, they're saying things that are best horse in the last 20 years and those kind of remarks. So I think we've got a really good horse. I'm just hoping he can show it up here. All right. So it's safe to say then that the plans for the rest of the racing season is you're going to aim high here. Will we get to see him here at the Meadowlands? That's going to be up to Mr. Tactor. That's why we chose him, and he's he's going to. We asked him that today, and he said, "I'm going to let the horse tell me what I'm going to do with the horse." So we're in good hands. So we're going to let him do his magic. All right, Mr. Taylor, first of all, thanks again so much for taking the time. We wish you the best of luck with Lazarus and with the stallion What the Hill throughout the uh, rest of the season as well. Thanks for being here, and we hope to see you again at the Big end. We hope to see Lazarus, and we know uh, if you come back, you're going to have a good time. Well, we thank you, and we thank the Meadowlands, and we thank Mr. Gorell for stepping up when he needed to for horse racing and keep making the place better, and let's, let's – show people what horse racing is all about. It's a great sport. It's a great sport. There you have it, folks. Mr. Duncan Taylor, CEO of Taylor Made Sales and Stallions. Another special edition of In the Sulky. We all can't wait to get to see Lazarus.